we looked at some heroes. So we started off by just doing some heroes with forward steps. So we're going side step with the left. Then we're leading the chest to control the ladies freely. We're going to cross ourselves around. And then with the side step, making sure it matches the man's chest movement. And then bringing the three leg around in front again. And we can change that to be a back hero by extending the legs to the side, twisting the lady so her foot comes around the back, transferring the weight onto it. Again, making sure the side step controlled by the man's chest, pivoting around. And then we can add combinations of this so we can go forward, forward, back, forward, <laughs> and just bearing it up inside the uh, hero <laughs> itself. We can then add, look at adding uh, ganchos to this. So we're looking for a position where she's either stepped across herself or stepped back across herself. So we do it in either position and the theory stays the same throughout. So we do the forward one first, step forward, put one of our legs between the lady's legs. Then we use our chest to control the lady's foot. So we twist our chest back and she just moves her leg as if she's stepping normally. And because the knee is in the way, or my leg is in the way, my leg is also bent and she's contacting the pressure part of my thigh, I can twist my chest back to control the leg to go up. And I can do this sharp, or I can do it slow. From this position again, I can also put my other leg in. For this one, it's important to get your right knee out of the way, and you open up a lot more from the chest, so we go back and we twist. And again, the leg is controlled. Same thing happens from the back position on this. So as we go backwards, this time I have to be careful of my uh, left knee. I twist, I get the gancho, and from this foot, I twist and get the gancho. Gancho being hook. We then took this idea and added these into something called uh, enganchos, which is a gancho that leads into another move. So we actually use this to form a combination of ganchos. So from this forward step, I can twist her up here, leaving her weight there and making sure my chest is twisted to my right. I use my momentum to pivot around so my right leg has its weight on it. My left leg comes through between her legs and we get the hook there. If the chest doesn't change its direction, this is why the foot is hooked here. I think it's easiest if I lift my leg up here, step through, twist my chest to my right, which means her foot comes up on the other side. I can send her through and then we're back into the scansion position to leave the scansion. And I can send her off now. Option on the other side for doing an enganche with a, a man's turn in it or a sortada. We step to the left and we bring her around. I match her foot. We bring the gancho in here. I leave my chest facing to my left. I lift my left hand, let go of my right. Go under. I transfer my weight onto my right foot. Pivot my left foot around. Put my weight onto my left foot. And because my chest is now facing this way, my leg is hooked over there. I can then got the option to send it out, and we're into this gancho. I've then got the option of, if I lift my left hand, put my hand on my shoulder, spin her around, transfers her weight, and there's a gancho on the other side, and she's here, and then I can do another combination of coming in here, bringing this around to there, and I've got into this uh, gancho combination. And that was today's class.